All right, here's what we've been seeing those above normal temperatures. It seems like all throughout uh, ever since summer ended, but uh, kind of the last grasp of summer that we're seeing here, especially this weekend before we start to finally cool down. Definitely, Andy, which is crazy because we're already in fall. We're moving to November, but you're definitely right. We actually broke two new records today, if you can believe it. One has to do with heat and one has to do with those 90 degree temperatures. Go ahead and take a look, Borderland. We hit 91 degrees today. We broke the record that was set back in 1979, which was previously 87 degrees. The second record we broke was actually this is the latest 90 degree plus temperature that we hit this late in the year, which is absolutely Absolutely wild and we have the chance to do it again tomorrow but taking a look at our car wash forecast I have us down for 88 degrees tomorrow with a yellow light and on Tuesday we are going to see some changes coming into the borderland because we have a cool front moving through our area and that's going to bring wind along with cooler temperatures so while things will feel nicer they are going to be quite windy with the potential for blowing dust so do with that what you will if you have Halloween decorations I would personally lock them down but right now temperatures are at 78 degrees 70 in Juarez and 71 in Las Cruces definitely a lot different than 90 degrees that we saw earlier today but looking for tonight we're going to drop down all the way to 60 degrees so it will feel cooler in those early morning hours 62 in Juarez and 58 in Las Cruces a lot cooler over there our highs for tomorrow like I mentioned 88 El Paso 87 Las Cruces, 90 in Juarez. The rest of the region is more or less still feeling a little bit above normal than we usually see this time of year, but focusing in on El Paso, again, 88 degrees, and we're gonna start to see those light breezes beginning to amp up in our region. Las Cruces, you are the same thing, light winds, 87 degrees. We're gonna get up to 15 miles per hour for you. And taking a look at our allergy forecast, we remain in the mild and low region. You'll notice for Tuesday, we have us at an eight, and that's because those winds are going to pick up dust and other allergens that can irritate anyone who is sensitive. Our nine hour forecast, though, starting at 12 a.m., we are at 69 degrees. As we move throughout the overnight hours, we start to dip a little bit lower, a little bit lower up until we get to 5 a.m., and that's when we begin our work week. Everyone's getting up, taking out the dog, getting the kids ready, so things will feel a little bit chillier. It is going to be the layering season, so you'll probably start off with a jacket. By the afternoon, you'll want to take it off. Let's get a look at our nine day forecast, though. Monday, we have those light winds coming. Tuesday is what we're really going to focus on. On though those wind gusts could get up to 25 miles per hour they're going to be strong blowing dust but take a look for our happy halloween forecast trick-or-treaters this one's good for you 75 degrees it's going to be beautiful clear sky sunny conditions halloween's going to be great every day after that as well things are going to calm down after tuesday those temperatures are going to feel really nice really great with that cool front moving through and D, things are going to start to feel a lot more fall like and borderland i think we're in a good place but don't go anywhere we're going to have more news after this break